रेलवे इज अ लाइफ लाइन ऑफ एनी नेशन इट कनेक्ट डिफरेंट पीपल डिफरेंट रीजन हेल्प इन बिल्डिंग द नेशन इन दिस सेशन वेल लर्न अबाउट वेरियस कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ द रेलवे विच कंट्रीब्यूट इन रनिंग द रेलवे स्मूथली टू रन अ ट्रेन अ डेडिकेटेड पाथ इज रिक्वायर्ड दिस डेडिकेटेड पाथ इज कॉल्ड एज परमानेंट वे or pathway a guideway but commonly as a railway track the railway track consists of different components the first component is the formation the formation is the ground on which a railway track is to be laid there should not be a sudden change in the gradient the formation is prepared in such a method the ground is made level at the same time as far as possible it is elevated from the natural ground this elevation is necessary to avoid the cattle to cross the railway track once the formation is prepared the ballast is spread ballast are the hand broken stones The ballast bed is prepared in such a fashion that the level of the track is again raised. The ballast helps in draining the rain water. Secondly, it provides cushioning effect for the train travel. Thirdly, the ballast makes the railway track sturdy. The ballast does not allow the track to have lateral and horizontal movement on the ballast bed pre-stressed concrete sleepers are laid the pre-stressed concrete sleepers are called as psc sleepers these sleepers are the components on which the railway track is laid the psc sleepers are laid with predetermined distances number of sleepers per kilometer is called as density of the sleepers the density of the sleepers depends on type of rails speed of the train type of trains running on the sleepers the concrete sleepers because of its heavy weight provides sturdiness to the railway track the psc sleepers does not allow the track to have lateral and horizontal movement and as the psc sleepers are laid on the ballast the weight of the train is distributed to the ballast once the psc sleepers are laid depending upon the density the rails are laid on the sleepers the rails are fixed to the sleepers through a clip called pendrol clips These clips not only hold the rail but also will not allow the rail to move during the train movement. The rails are of mild steel. The size of the rail differs for various speeds. Indian Railway uses various sizes of rails. The standard length of rails shall be either 30 meters or 26 meters. The profile of the rail is such that complete weight of the train is concentrated at the web of the rail and further distributed to PSC sleepers and ballast through the flat foot of the rail. Rails are classified based on the weight. Indian Railway uses 52 kg rails or 60 kg rails. 1 meter of rail weighs 52 kg or 60 kg higher the speed heavier is the weight the standard length of rails are joined with the help of pair of fish plates the rail joints are the weakest part in railway track the rail joints restrict the speed of the train more the speed more is the vibration 
to avoid the vibration the rail joints are welded the welding of the rail joints provides the smooth ride to the passengers the welding of rail also helps in increasing the speed of the train the rails can be welded in different length namely short welded rails long welded rails and continuous welded rails this is all for this session thank you